everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, you want to have some messy old, good old papery, who knows what we're doing fun today, just playing with the scraps and the paper and playing with some old book pages? Dive in, let's check it out. Okay, so the prototype today is this little example on a journal page. I just picked a random journal page and this is all, let me bring this down to you or you don't do it. It's all made out of book pages and a little bit, the leaves were made out of just some scrap fabric I had sitting on my desk. And uh, um, so it was a lot of fun to make and you could really do any design you like. It could be a um, ocean scene, it could be a farm scene, it could be um, a magical fairy scene, whatever you like. But I just thought an easy nature scene was uh, uh, something uh, fun and random and uh, I don't know, I just felt like I felt like tearing the paper today and feeling the pages. So if you want to come along, let's make another one and we'll do it together. All right, here we go. Let's just pick a random page that looks good. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put it more in the front. Here's a nice page and there's a nice page. Let me say, Maybe we'll do it on this page. All right, let me just clamp her down so she's all um, together. And what I did was I grabbed an old um, novel and I just, what did I take? I took this. I took this novel and I tore out, I think I took four pages. And, and you want to, oh, I, I, this is what I, because I wanted a lot of text. So I looked for pages that had a lot of text on them. So I sort of started there. You only need a lot of text on one side. So one, two, three, that's four good pages there. So I tore them out of the novel. Yes, tearing apart an old book. Um, and you could also do this out of old newspaper if you have old newspaper. So maybe we'll do some combined um, uh, techniques so you can see which what looks like it, what what each looks like. There you go. I can talk. Okay. So now this could be a scene or it could be just a random expression of something. So what I thought I would make this time, um, let us go ahead and get our text block out of here, our text block. I call everything a text block. Okay, where all the uh, printing is, that's what I want. I wanna isolate that. So I'm just coming along with the good old metal. I call it a tearing ruler just because it has a nice sharp edge. Um, and it gives those nice little ruffle, like this little, that. And uh, I know, don't cry if you see I'm tearing apart a Bobsy Twin book. It's okay, it's okay. It was, it was gonna be destroyed by the evil uh, book shredders and so it's, it's having a new purpose. Here we go. All right, <clears throat> so I have four. I have four pages and I can, I can make more because I have more book. Uh, but I thought maybe I would make something that, I don't know, I, I wanna say it looks like a mandala. I don't know, just kind of getting uh, excited to try that. So this one, where is it? This one, oh, can't find it now. Okay, so um, that one was a scene. Okay, so I did a little grass and I fussy cut the grass, all right? Um, so, but this one, I wanna make a bunch of different petals. Yeah, and, and basically all I used were um, uh, distress inks and book pages and that little tiny piece of fabric. Okay, so let's see how many different kinds of petals I can, I can, I can, now I could cut them or I could tear them. What should I do? <clears throat> I'm going to tear some and maybe I'll cut some. We'll see. You could also paper punch some um, if you wanted to do that, but I'm, I'm just going to pretend we don't have a paper punch. Maybe I'll fold it in half so I get symmetrical petals. I don't know why I need symmetrical petals, but maybe I do. Okay, maybe I, maybe I will cut. Okay, I'll just cut a little bit here. There we go. I'm cutting. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. Sometimes you just got to do it. All right, here's just some general petal shape. So now I have a bunch of these, okay, to work with. And I'm gonna create a little pile of things that I can grab over here. Maybe you wanna grab some book pages and join me. Who knows where this is gonna lead? It might be fun though. Let's try it, let's try, come on. All right, uh, all right, all right, let's do some this way. And um, they don't have to be symmetrical. And maybe the next batch I'll try and, um, I'll try and tear them. Okay, so these are more like that. Okay, so we have that. And I don't know what I'll do with this, but I'll do something with it. So we'll just put it over there for now. And let's grab some more book pages. Let me just do three, four, grab five. I think I'm gonna need more for this one because of the architecture of the design. Yes. Okay, let me, let me get rid of this stuff. Okay, ready? There's great joy in doing that. I don't know why there's great joy in doing that, but there is. Um, the tearing of the paper, I just love it. I love to tear paper. There we go, more torn paper. Extremely fun, extremely rewarding. 
Um, <clears throat> do you like to tear paper? <clears throat> or am I alone in this? Okay, here we go. Now, let's tear one. Oh, let's make some long ones. Okay, so let's make, let's fold it this way this time. And let's just do some tear, because maybe some will be leaves and some will be petals. How about that? This might be cool. Or it could be completely goofy. Who knows? Okay, those are pretty big. Um, very cool, very cool. So now the question is, how are we going to differentiate them from each other? Because if we do some kind of layer design where we're building up from the bottom, maybe we want to do different colors. Maybe that's that's how we'll differentiate. Okay, let's try that. Um, and let's pick some colors that we want to use. How about some uh, broken china? We'll use what we have here. Uh, uh, I'd like to use, okay, vintage photo, vintage photo. Um, maybe forest moss. And no, I'll go ahead and this orange is like a, a wild honey. It's kind of like a yellow orange. And our good old friend worn lipstick. You can come and play. And there was a different green on it. Oh, there it is. This is a brighter green. It's like a grass green peel paint. Um, so I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do this. Oh gosh, you know what we could do? We could have it go across the middle. That would be fun. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah, because that gives us a lot more elbow room to lay down our petals. Okay, let's do that. All right. Now I gotta get them apart. That's the first thing. Okay, so put a pile of petals over here. Separate them all up so they're easy grab. Um, and we can make more petals. We can make skinny petals. We don't have any skinny petals. Maybe we want to make a little round for the center. That might be fun too. Um, all right, let's give this a go. Now I'm getting excited. Okay, here we go. Um, where's my little dauber? Okay, here's my dauber. <clears throat> and I think what I'm going to do, major decision happening here. I think I'm going to take my, where is it? Where is it? Oh, how can it not be here? How can it not be here? There it is. <laughs> right where I left it my walnut stain, which was my dark brown. <clears throat> and I'm going to boldly ink around the outsides of these petals. And I'm going to do that so they pop from each other. Now, I guess I could do this before or after. And let's see what it looks like before. Let's try before first. Okay. All right. So there's one. Let's try four of these. We've got four. This paper is a little fragile, so we'll have to be gentle with it um, but it's nice that we're we're going to glue it to the pages so it's going to have some strength and here's number three getting very excited about this this is going to be so much fun and uh here we go yeah well, they all look fine can't get too fussy pants about like oh is this the right that yeah, i mean you know maybe you want to scan for bad words but i think we're safe with bobsy twins <laughs> Probably. Okay, let's see how this goes. We'll just see what we're looking like. See, this could actually look pretty cool. Now, we could actually do three on each side. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, that would be cool. They would come to the center. They don't actually have to meet at the center because we're going to put other petals on top. So maybe we need a couple more that big. So let's grab two more pages. Mm, you know what? Let me... No, yeah, okay. Let me just grab two pages. All right, stay focused, fam. And let's just make a few more of those. <clears throat> All right, there we go. So we have another uh, text area. So folding and then just tearing. Like I said, they don't have to be exactly the same. You know, not in my imagination. <laughs> All right. So I have two more of those bigger leaves or flowers. Petals, petals. That's what I'm trying to say. Petals. All right. And then we're inking. Sunshine, Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. I never call him Poppy. <laughs> Papa just went out. He'll be back. He promises. He hasn't left left us. All right. Um, going around. And you know these torn edges they absorb so well. And if you find that your your ink pad is getting dry, you can spritz it with a little bit of water. I don't know if I showed this, but you can just kind of do that. And that will reawaken um, your ink. If it's just dry and not lacking in ink, that will refresh and reawaken. Okay. So now we could also do some where the folds are. Yeah, we could do that. I wonder what that would look like. Maybe make it look more like leaves. I don't know. 
Let's see how this goes. This could be kind of cool. But they could still be petals. Maybe, maybe petals have a, yeah, petals, some petals have like a center, right? Yeah. All right. Well, some writing will be upside down or I don't know. Does it all have to be exactly the same way? Is that important? I don't think so. Because this is art, so there's no rules. Uh, in this art, anyway, or my art. <laughs> okay, so let's say we do something like this to get us started. All right, let's do that. Let's slap those puppies down. And I, my glue of choice today is going to be my Fabrifix. Reason being, um, it uh, won't wrinkle the paper, and um, I'm not going to tear the tender book pages uh, because they're a little bit... Um, delicate. Okay, let's put you there. This is a little committal, you know, you got maybe a second to reorient, but um, um, you can use any glue for this. You can use glue stick, you can use uh, white, white glue, um, whatever you got. Whatever you got handy, just glue it. Just glue it. Okay. This is fun. Yeah, I should have been doing this a long time ago. Why, why haven't I been doing this? I have done a few cross designs. I think I did a clock face and, and something else. Then I sort of, you know, Went to other things. That, that happens, you know, but this, no, this, this is cool. Um, all right. Um, isn't it crazy to get so excited about paper? But, you know, what a great thing to get so excited about. I mean, we're not doing anybody any harm. We're just having good, clean fun, right? Okay, maybe I'm, okay, that's good. Oh, we're not even in the way of the, maybe we'll put you down first. Maybe we'll a little more. Oh, too late. You are where you are. I can live with you there. Why? Because I can always build up around you and, um, um, flower out more so if I want. Okay, maybe I'm make you look a little more flowery. All right. Oh, this is cool, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why it's 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 cool. It's just it's just cool. Yeah. So are you are you having some fun, crafty fun, or are you on your way to work, or are you um, what's going on? Um. All right. Well, you know, make sure you get some uh, crafty fun in if, you, if you're able to do that today. I hope you are. I hope you get it. Like, even five minutes can make all the difference to the, uh, the psyche. You know, we get to relax a little bit and just glue paper. It doesn't, doesn't have to be a Rembrandt. Remember that? No Rembrandt required. Um, I guess I could even go up here. Be kind of cool. Let's see. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Well, why don't we do that? All right. So let's just outline. And I'm having fun with the outline. I don't even feel so compelled to color all this. We'll just see, we'll just see how this goes. If this looks cool, we'll leave it as is. But if we feel like we want to add color, we'll add color. But let's just see where it goes. Okay, so now this one is going to go into the fold. So if it goes into the fold or, you know, in there, then we're going to want to make sure it's really tucked in well so that it doesn't rupture every time the page is turned. So we're going to have to do a, a super tuck snug tuck. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so I uprighted that little guy just so the writing was the right way. I don't know why. Like I said, that's not necessary. Um, okay, there we go. Just a little bit for fun. All right, let's try that. Yeah, let's try. Let's start with that. All right, here we go. Let's get these babies down. It's a cold Florida wintry day today, and I had my heater on in the craft room, and Sonny burnt out all of his uh, uh, puppy energy this morning. Uh, we played lots of chase, and uh, go get it, and um, chew mama's hands, and all that kind of fun stuff. We're recording, right? Yeah, okay. I <laughs> just like talking to the air. Um, and uh, so he's all, where is it? oh, totally flaked out, totally flaked out. Oh, he woke up. You knew I was talking about you. Did I say your name? Are you sleeping with Blue Bear? That's okay. All right. Yep, that's us today. Just hanging out here, glue and paper. Yep. Something peaceful about it. Where's my warm, crackly fireplace going on? That would be nice. Oh, 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 I don't have one of those. Right. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, I have a little fire pit outside, but not one inside. Um, I know you say who who needs one of those in Florida? Well, believe it or not, it gets it gets chilly. We get you know we get we get cold. Okay, now we could layer. Let's just try this on for size because we don't know what it's going to look like, but it could be kind of cool. And I think I have enough of those. Okay, you're a little skinnier. That's all right. I'm gonna have a little catty corner you, or maybe we'll put you guys in the middle, the longer ones, for some little bit of symmetry. Oh, that's kind of looking cool, right? Yeah, that's actually very pretty. All right, so now do I, 
Mm, do I act? Do I go with color change or do I just say consistent and neutral? Let me try consistent and neutral on this one. I don't know, just feeling it. Just feel it. You got to go with what, where you're pulled. You know what I mean? And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. All right. So this is a long and skinny. Okay. And you are a long and skinny. <laughs> Back in me younger days, I was a long and skinny. Now that ship has sailed. Yeah, yeah, no, no, classic crazy crafter, but, um, but hey, it's a happy bottom. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a fulfilled, having fun, happy bottom. <laughs> All right, so now it's good to stretch every once in a while. Make sure you stretch, get the crick out of the old crafter neck, you know, that's important. Um, saw somebody doing like neck and back stretches that was really helpful. I started doing that in the mornings and um, I'm thinking that's helpful because we tend to look down at our work and we're kind of hunched over and crunked over but we just because we want to just fall in love with the papers. We just want to get lost in there with them and mingle around and totally forget about our aching back. We don't want to think about that. No, we want to think about um, what we can make next. Mm-hmm. So this kind of inking, I don't mind doing. Um, I hope you don't mind watching, but I think it's 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 so relaxing. Okay, now do maybe. Okay, let's just look at it. You know, maybe we need to change it up a little bit. Oddly, and closer, closer. That. And we're going to put something in the center. So, I think that's kind of good. The hodgepodgeness of it all is uh, my trademark way. <laughs> Uh, because rarely does anything come out perfect. So hodgepodge is is, uh, is where I live naturally. And I'm okay with that. And uh, you can do this totally symmetrical if you want. Or you can do hodgepodge. And um, um, yeah, I'm feeling the hodgepodge today. All right, just a little bit of glue and put that down. I tuck it right into the center. And these could be off center a little bit. Like it's not straight on here. It's a little cockeyed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally planned. Not really. It just landed there. So I thought instead of fighting with it, I'm just going to go with it and build around it. And uh, I just want this to be fun and easy and relaxing. And so far, so far, I feel it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Did you grab some old book pages? Uh, they don't have to be super old. It can be like a, a newer book that maybe you're just not that interested in it anymore. Or something everybody's read and it's been around the family and nobody else wants it. And it's destined for the book shredder. I should have probably put that one on top. But I didn't. And you know, that's okay. Oh, I was gonna say, I can't see any of my other, um, I almost called them feathers, um, my other petals. Now, do these look like petals? Because they're all in the brown world. Um, it kind of looks, I'm, get, I'm getting a a poinsettia sort of feel here. Okay, get in that corner. Get in there. All right, put the glue on you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, put you put there. Maybe put you. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna do it. All right. And here's a good spot. Okay, that's kind of off kilter. That's good. Get in there. Now right, you gotta go right in the little fold of room. Got to test to make sure everybody. Oh, yeah, I know. I know you weren't glued on. I knew that. And we'll get you down with everybody else. No, you're not being left out. You get to play too. Here we go. In the corner. There you go. Everybody's fine. All right. Make sure everybody's down in that little center. All right. So we got that so far. That was pretty easy, right? I mean, pretty harmless. Very basic supplies. No fancy anything. And now. We should do something for the center. And uh, let's see, I got this little book page sitting here. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. You're a contender then. Now I could cut it. I could cut it. I could tear it. I could punch it out. Let's see if I, if I tore it. Some of these were torn. Some of these were cut. Okay. So let's fold you in half. Now I'm going to try and make, oof, try and make a, a circle, a half circle. Okay, this is gonna be one sad half circle. I know it. Okay, here we go. What'd I get? Probably not even close. Huh. All right, let's see what we got. Too big? Too small? Oh, that's kind of cute though. Oh, let me let me change the shape a little bit. Come down here. What oh, is Valentine's? Maybe I could turn it into a heart. That doesn't make any sense in the middle of a flower, does it? Why not? Um, 
starting to kind of, well, let me, let me get rid of that little thing there. All right. Okay, tuck you down in there. You're going to be good. You're going to behave. Okay. I think I can do that. All right. Well, that was pretty easy. No rocket science here. None needed. And then let's just have some fun and see how we can play and amp this up. And I'll show you the other one again. So you can just get, you know, a contrasting idea of what you can do with these things. Um, really, there's no limit. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cross fold this. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it little marks going this way. This paper is almost falling apart because it's so old. Um, and this way, I don't know. Does that look good? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, do I like that? Uh, I don't know. My eyes are going squirrely. I think I'm going to make another one. That one's like too much, uh, crossing. I'm not going to cross that much. Okay. I'm just going to make another one quickly here. Okay. Um, because I want the center, I don't know, I'm just feeling like I want the center to be different than the rest. Okay, there. Now let's just do the outside. Okay. All the way around. All around the world. And we're covering all that mush mush in the center. And we're going to have to tuck it in. Yeah, I like that. I think that's very nice. Um, now... I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting this feeling like I want to do something with the petals that's a little unexpected, a little out there, a little crazy. Um, let's see where it goes. And remember, if this turns into a big disaster, and because I tend to decorate my pages when they're in my book already, some people like to decorate them before they go in the book. Um, this might be a little tricky with the, the two separate pages, though, you know, if you want to do a spread design. Okay, let's fold and make sure that folds all nicey nice. Okay, get down in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we are. We are good. All right. So we have that. I almost feel like I want to put big words somewhere on here. We've got little words and maybe I want to go around the edge and just ink it up a little bit to give it a um, little bit of a frame. Yeah. To kind of, as I say, hew it in. Hue is probably a noun and not a verb, but you know, hey, we live on the edge here. Um, okay, there we go. We got that. I think that's very pretty. Like if you were coming along, it's like, oh, what's that? Oh, wow, look at that. That would be kind of neat, right? Just something different. Um, does it need more? Should I leave it be? Um, let me find the other one. I can show you again what I did. I just stamped one word on it. Oh, here it is. So this one, bring it in close. So you can see the writing or the printing. There's one word, a little bit of material accent here, and it's okay. You can, you don't have to just use book pages. You can just use book pages, but you don't have to. And this one was on a uh, beet, uh, like a vegetable beet colored page. That's, I soaked it in beet juice. I, I opened a can of sliced beets and I saved the juice and then I poured it on some paper. That's what I did. Yes. Nothing fancy, very easy. And you get pretty pink paper. It's a different pink, obviously, than the avocado. It's more of a like a baby pink, I would say. Um, so yeah, you can get, you can get different things. Um, okay. So where is our big flower? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, wow. I kind of like that though. It's kind of peaceful as it is. I'm a little compelled to go get one of my, um, all right, I'm going over here and, uh, oh, well, here's a pretty butterfly. Do I need to, I could put like a butterfly coming in. That'd be nice too, right? Yeah, quite fit exactly, but you could be sitting on it. It would be pretty. Okay, but we have options. Um, let me go get that bag of bed sheet words. Okay, how long does it take me to get? Oh, not long. I have it. It's right here. See, that wasn't bad. I really liked uh, all your ideas you gave me to help uh, organize my storage on these things. And I think I will take it up on some of those. You know why? Because I've got a lot more drawers to go, so we can try those things. Um, I did like your idea of putting these all in straight lines and then just seeing the end dangle off. And that way you could just pull off what you need. So I have spring here. Uh, 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 nope, can't tear that one. That's been a really strong bed sheet. Okay. So that's kind of a nice thing when you go to Goodwill, you can buy only the good stuff. Yeah, because <laughs> now you can afford it. <laughs> All right. And then you can tear it up. Yeah, <laughs> even better. Okay, so I, I could put like a word just here or maybe, maybe just coming across there or straight. I'm gonna put the word up there here 
I like the little butterfly now. Now I feel like the butterfly belongs because he's got cohesive colors. I could, put, I could put it on it. I could put it hanging off. Mm -hmm. And we are coming up on spring, so that might be a nice thing. Okay, let me, let me fuzz you out a little bit. This is the fuzz out technique. And now we will, I think I'm going to use my Scotch Create glue stick here. And it's a good thing to glue thin pieces of material down. It holds well. Okay. And it, you don't get bleed through, which is nice. Okay. I put you there. Okay. Okay. And this little butterfly, I think you, yeah, you have to become part of, you've just been hanging out here so long, you know, um, you're, you're, you're just part of the scene. We got to take you. All right. Here we go. This is like the thing that takes forever. Sit here for an hour. I've tried all the tricks. I've tried the pin. I've tried this. I've tried. Okay. It's just, I have to sit there and just commit and do it. Okay. So there, I hope that was a good spot. There we go. He's coming in. He wants to land. And do I need to do anything in the center? I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave that kind of plain and, and relaxing. Not too much hoo-ha. You know what I mean? Not too much. Okay, maybe a little hoo-ha. Let's go get some hoo-ha. You know what I'm getting. All right, where it is? Where's my drawer? My drawer of liquid pearls and stickles because then I can let this whole page air dry. No, no, I'm not going to overdo it. I hear you. No, I'm just going to be gentle. Just a little few dabs. I just, you need a little something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here's the crazy drawer. Okay, let's see. Something in the center. Something soft and muted and not in your face screaming. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is soft and muted and kind of looks like those colors. Let's zoom in a little bit. See what's going on. I was thinking of maybe doing something here or, or I don't know. Let's back up again. Um, I could do it around, just a little around the edges, like not all the way around, but just maybe like accenting the catty corner or something. Oh, I really like it the way it is though. Should I just leave it? What should I do? What should I do? I think I might just leave it. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. I don't know. Well, you know what I could do? I could put something on the butterfly. Yeah, just soften him. He's already pretty soft, but maybe we could just give him a little accent. Okay, let me zoom you in so you can see what on earth is going on. So if you feel like you just want to play a little bit more on a page, you don't have to rush, rush, rush to the next page. No, no, no. You can play on a page for a bit. That's okay. Um, all right. Let me just put some here. Am I, am I doing, I'm probably doing too many at this point. Just stop. Pull away, Pam. All right. Back it up so you can see what's going down. All right. You want a few on the corner? Okay. I heard you. I heard you. Third row, two seats in. Can you see? Okay. I just put some there. And then just, you know, for our uniformity, we'll do this. Now I'm going to put this all aside and let it dry. Maybe I'm going to put one there. Yeah. Okay. You there? Okay. Very nice. All right. Didn't overdo it. Didn't put anything in the center. I thought maybe with the pressure of the book closing on the center, it might stick together or something. So I didn't want to do that. So there you go. I hope you like that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, very easy process. Um, you could also take your uh, distress inks like I did on the other one and color the book pages and then create designs and things like that. But just something fun to play with. Um, we have so many options with paper and we're just, we're never going to run out of ideas. We're just going to keep having fun. So, um, yeah, so I have, um, oh, just put out my, uh, February digi kits in my Etsy shop. If you haven't seen those yet, I have a video out, came out February 1st. I'll give you some ideas on how to use them. And also you can see what's in the kits and, um, what else? Uh, I have an Amazon shop where I put all my favorite tools and supplies. If you're looking for uh, things that I'm using here and you're and you can't quite know where to find them, I try and put everything in there. And what else? I have um, a I can't talk a free 
monthly emailed newsletter. That's right. Now, I did see a big herd of people who apparently had signed up before and they re-signed up because for some reason they think they're not getting the newsletter. And and um, let me give you a little tip. If you haven't heard about this tip, that if you're using Outlook as your email program, look in the promotions tab because often my emails get um, uh, filtered into the promotions tab um, if it doesn't come in your main tab. And then... Um, if you don't find it there, look in the junk or the spam folders. But um, and if you're always welcome to send me your email address, if you're not getting them, send it to Pamela at thepaperoutpost.com, and I will attempt to manually enter you. And if I find you that you're in there already, that likely means it's getting filtered out at your end or shuttled or or put somewhere else um, in your system. I think I don't know for sure. I'm not like a tech wizard or anything, but I know that it's in my system, and I'm sending it off into cyberspace to you. Um, and you can try a different email address too. You can create one just for, for this as well. Um, so anyway, I hope that gives you some ideas. I have a, a, a there, we have a Facebook group where we're doing lots of fun things, uh, doing weekly and monthly challenges, creating lots of stuff. So come on over and check that out. We'd love to have you. And uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time and podcasts, which are uh, free to listen to, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, it's new material. It's different from the videos. Um, and then it's, they're kind of fun to listen to while you're walking the dog or grocery shopping or doing the laundry, something like that. And um, just hanging out, talking paper, crafty stuff, you know, whatever, whatever comes across that day. You know, that's kind of the life of a crafter. And um, maybe you can relate. Maybe you can relate. Um, and that's, I think, pretty much it. So uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.